Good happy Monday morning, August 11, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, Manchester, Manchester teachers, mayor, attend meeting over vetoed contract. Some teachers in Manchester rallied in front of the mayor's office Monday night before a meeting in City Hall, and the school board passed a symbolic vote of no confidence for the mayor. Many were upset that Mayor Ted Gastis vetoed a new three-year contract that included a 7% pay raise in the first year. The contract would have covered the next three years, giving teachers their first raise in three years. More than 101 200 teachers and staff will be heading back to school in September without a new contract. All 14 school board members supported the deal and aldermen voted 7 to 3 to improve it. Man out on bail in previous burglary accused in Dover break-in. A man who was out on bail steaming from a burglary charge has been arrested in connection with another burglary, according to authorities. Dover police were called to a home on Long Hill Road around 11.15 a.m. Monday, where officers found a broken rear window leading to the basement. Police said they spotted Gabrielle Ariel, 27, walking about a quarter mile away. He was questioned and released. However, a subsequent investigation in K-9 Track indicated Ariar was responsible for the break-in, according to authorities. He was arrested at the Dover Transportation Center and charged with burglary. Police said Ariar was out on bail, steaming from previous burglaries in Rochester. Mont Vernon police search for car tried to burglary burglary. A Mont Vernon police are seeking the public assistance tracking down a car that might be tied to a burglary. The vehicle was described as a small silver two or four door car, possibly a Honda Civic or Chevrolet Savillar. It has a black front bumper and is missing its rear bumper. It also has a loud exhaust. The driver was described as a white man in his early 20s with an average build. He was accomplished by a black or Hispanic woman in her early 20s with a thin build. Police said the car is thought to be tied to criminal activity in the Canadian Candia or Milford areas too. Senator Ron Paul to speak at Politics and Eggs Breakfast. U.S. Senator Rand Paul starts a three-day stay in New Hampshire with an appearance at 
a politics and eggs breakfast Tuesday morning. The event is hosted by New Hampshire Institute of Politics and St. Elms College. It is expected to get underway around 8.30 a.m. Kentucky Senator will then attend events in Hooksett, Concord, and Clamont before visiting Swansea, Keene, Peterborough, and Nashua on Wednesday. Paul is scheduled to appear in Summersworth and Portsmouth on Thursday. Derry Police report spikes in theft for, from cars. Derry Police are reminding residents to lock their cars and roll up their, the windows. According to authorities, more than 30 cars were entered in the last couple of weeks. In most intents, the thieves stole loose change, but an iPod and some prescription medicine were also taken. Police said in each case the cars were unlocked and parked in driveways. The crimes were all committed in early morning hours. Update. Clinton calls New Hampshire Planned Parenthood defunding vote appealing. Hillary Clinton on Monday took special aim at the three men on New Hampshire Executive Council who voted last week to defend Planned Parenthood in the Granite State. Maine man arrested on drug charges in Newington. A 45-year-old Maine man is accused of trying to obtain methylmedined by fraud in Dover, police said. Douglas L. Callahan of South Berwick, Maine, was arrested Friday in Newington. He allegedly tried to get methamphetamine from the Hannaford Pharmacy or on Central Street Police said. He was released on 2,000 personal recognition bail and is due in court on October 27. Anti-drug book cover campaign to begin to some Manchester schools. A new anti-drug campaign will be introduced this school year in Manchester. At least 600,000 6, books covers will be handed out to middle schoolers and high schoolers students in the Queen. City. Greece has a new deal bailout deal. Eek! Greece has a new a deal. Greece and its creditors have completed negotiations of the on the terms of a third bailout package. The deal worth up to eighty six billion euro, 95 billion euro, still needs to re receive a stamp or approval by Eurozo leaders, but it is expected to be finalized within days. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. See you later. Bye.